why folks, I'm going to start making a few of these yarn balls this week for the knitting community. They're just a simple ball but with a few little slots cut out so I think put the knitting needles in and thread the wool through apparently. So I'll show you what the cuttings, what cutting's done later on. But first of all it's just to throw a, a simple ball and then the next day I'll do the cutting when the clay's a little bit harder. quite a thick ball because I want the walls of the pot to be quite thick because when you cut the holes out if you take the too thin then what could happen is when they fire they can warp in the kiln so I'm trying to keep it quite thick so I'm just going to roll Roll the edge over by making it flat like that first with my index finger and then simply rolling this rim over which gives it the effect of having a really thick top when in fact just rolling a rim so it's a good, a good tip that. See? So now it's just a matter of just bellying this pot out. Very basic bowl shape there. Just trim some of this off. Hopefully, trim it down tomorrow. that's the simple bowl shape and then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll cut the holes in and the slots in and show you what it looks like. Well I folks got this bowl now it's a little bit drier than obviously when I threw it so it's ideal to be cutting the holes in and putting the slots in. I don't know how well you'll see it because my hands are going to always probably be in the way. But what I'm going to do first is start off putting a little hole in with this punch so I'll put that in, put it in about there. And the next thing is to make the little sweeping curve, hopefully. So what I'm going to do, I'm using a pin. It's not actually quite thin enough, so it'll probably leave some little burrs, but uh, I can tidy those up afterwards. So I'm just going to do a little cut. Like I say, you probably can't see it. And to continue with this channel, I'm just going to do another one. I'll take this piece of clay out. That leaves you with the little cut. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'll put a couple of little holes in. Apparently, these are for if you want to add a second piece of wool when you're knitting. No idea, I've never knitted in my life. Or people can stick the knitting needles through. So that's the general idea. Like I say, a little bit rough, but what I'll do, I'll just sort of tidy it up with a sponge and some water. Just take these little burrs out. Quite easily come off, they're only superficial. <laughs> I'm 
give it a bit of a sponge down, just get some water. Just to give it a little bit of a tidy up. I've not actually turned this, trimmed this uh, pot yet because it's still a little bit too wet to trim. So that's the trouble with making these, you've got to do everything at a different stage. So what I'll do is I'll leave it another few hours and then trim all this rubbish off the bottom, get it a nicer shape and a finer shape. And then that should be it done. Basically that's it, that's my take on a yarn bowl. They're the main sort of procedures involved in it. I'll put a couple of pictures on if I can find them of some finished ones. But really, that's about it. So the last thing I'm going to do with this bowl folks is just now that it's had its slots cut out, I'm just going to turn it, trim the base. I'm using my various turning tools, like so. Just going to get a nicer shape underneath and get rid of some of the excess thick stuff. Use this tool now just to get rid of some of this thick stuff. I'll try and get the hand around so you might be able to see it. Narrower tool to get in a bit higher up. Just going to keep looking through to see if I'm not make sure I'm not going too thin. So that's tidied that bottom up now. Just add a little bit of colour a bit of cobalt slip a bit around the, around the rim and then inside just put some in and make it like a little flower shape for my finger and then just a little line at the bottom <clears throat> so that's that done picture of a couple of finished ones up, if I remember. I'll just show you the inside of this. Well, I won't cut it off first, just to show you the design. Just a basic sort of swirly pattern. So that's the bowl finished and turned. If you can see the bottom now, it's a lot tidier. So that's a little yarn bowl done.